talked earlier about the gut brain access, which is the fact that we understand that there is a connection between the bowels and the brain. So for example, if you have good bacteria living in your bowels, those good bacteria do a lot of things to benefit your brain. They help the bowel barrier, they help the bowel wall to protect against the absorption of toxins into the bloodstream. Good bacteria actually produce substances that neutralize a lot of toxins in our body. Good bacteria help to make enzymes and cytokines that help the processes in our body to work better. And therefore, those processes benefit the transit time of the, of the gut, and the transit time of the gut has a direct play on how much we absorb of healthy nutrients and how many of those healthy nutrients get to our brain. So it's really important to have good bacteria in your guts. We talk about prebiotics, probiotics, and symbiotics. Probiotics are bacteria and yeast that are put into capsules or foods that can benefit the bacteria in your bowel. Prebiotics are, are substances, mostly kind of a sugar-based substance that we know benefits bacteria, that bacteria thrive on, the good bacteria that we want in the bowel. So those can help you. And then there are symbiotics that have both probiotics and prebiotics in them. So one important thing to remember is that just because a food is form fermented doesn't mean that the bacteria that soured or fermented that food is the same bacteria that's gonna be healthy for you or the same bacteria that's gonna be in there later, later on in the shelf life of that product. So be careful to read your labels, be careful to read up and study upon the different types of probiotics and prebiotics because just because it's a probiotic doesn't mean it survives your GI tract with all its acids and all the churning. Uh, just because it's a probiotic doesn't mean it's made of the type of bacteria that are good for you. Uh, just because it's a prebiotic doesn't mean it's benefiting anything directly in your gastrointestinal tract. So there's a lot of discussion about that. Read your labels carefully and we'll be putting more information out on that soon because we know that the health of your bowel is related to the health of the organisms in your bowel and that is directly related to the brain and the well-being of your brain and that ultimately fights off depression.